A recent catastrophe has unfolded in Turkey as severe storms, characterized by a relentless onslaught of rain and powerful winds, have led to a series of devastating events across several districts. Buildings with roofs shredded off dotted the landscape, an ominous sign of the storm's ferocious power. Billowing clouds of smoke rising in the distance mark pockets of land ablaze. The true scale of the crisis remains unknown, but early reports paint a dire picture. 157 buildings damaged, 12 people injured, citizens stranded. Among the injured, a child clings to life at a local hospital, their future uncertain. The long night ahead overflowed with anxiety for families separated by the storm, unable to reconnect amidst the pandemonium. Hey, wah, 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 wah. Arabay ko turo. Hey, wah. Hey, wah, wah. Gitte. As thunder rumbled and lightning spiderwebbed the dark skies, the downpour persisted, augmenting the suffering below. The looming storm is unfolding amid the backdrop of cold and rainy weather that has affected Istanbul over the weekend. Although this weather pattern is expected to subside today, a new low-pressure system is anticipated to roll in from the central Mediterranean in the evening. Following meteorologists' warnings, strong southwest winds have begun to prevail in various regions, including Inera. In the evening, giant waves emerged at Suanpach in Tira, causing seawater to overflow onto the shoreline and creating a tsunami-like scenario. Waves as high as 10 meters continue to batter the coastal areas due to west winds reaching speeds of up to 60 kilometers. The impact of the storm forced cargo ships and tankers with local and foreign flags to anchor at ATA Beach. The southwest wind is expected to persist for two days, affecting the city where the air temperature has been measured at 13 degrees C. Authorities report that fishermen are unable to venture to sea due to the strong southwest winds. Two days ago, a violent storm led to the closure of the Dardanelles Strait, a crucial connection between the Aegean Sea and the Sea of Marmara. Moving west, the tempest sinks its claws deeper into the land. In Trebon, sirens wailed into the night, a cacophony underscoring the desperation of an overwhelmed emergency response force. Over 300 incidents reported and counting, each one a cry for help. A home flattened, an artery blocked, a life endangered. The once vibrant streets now lay barren and battered. Destiny hangs on the speed of first responders navigating through perilous conditions. Southwards, the crisis compounds as raging waters drown high. The city stood defenseless before waves, sweeping inland by the meter, transforming thoroughfares into tributaries. Any sense of normalcy washed away under the ruthless tides, claiming ground inch by inch. The Keren district faces complete inundation by the swelling sea, a one-meter wall of water to breach, five-meter waves set to conquer. Marooned residents awaited rescue, but even salvation bore danger in these extremes. As heavy machinery carved escape routes, the coastline disappeared under the overflowing waters. Meteorologists issue ever-escalating warnings. The torrential rains would only strengthen through the weekend. In the soaking streets, people stared at the skies in disbelief. Was there no end to this tempest? 
All catastrophes leave permanent scars, but Turkey now confronted a gaping wound, torn right into its heartland. Beyond the immediate rescue operations lied arduous rebuilding ahead. The roaring cyclone may dissipate in time, but its legacy would linger for generations. Officials must now coordinate mass humanitarian assistance, even as emergency teams sprint to save every stranded citizen. In chilling irony, the National Emergency Directorate building itself fell victim to the unrelenting waves.